How's it going? Um, let me know in the chat if you can hear us. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'm Chris. This is Kelly. And uh, we're going to be Howdy. your webinar hosts for today. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's um, always fun. I think. Uh, because today we're going to talk about accessories. What? And, um, accessories. Ac yeah. And accessories are um, exciting and fun, um, especially if you're like me and you're a big camera nerd. And you have lots of doodads um, hanging around uh, that you want to talk about. So this webinar is mostly for me. <laughs> He's not lying. Just, just show off my stuff. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is show and tell for adults. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to enjoy this more than probably most of you. So. <laughs> oh, anywho. But thank uh, you for joining us. <laughs> just off the top, uh, I'd like to encourage you to go and join our Facebook group, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, um, please. It's like up to like over 550, 600 people or something like that now. And it's really great. Yeah. There's lots of people who go have chats there. It's very cool. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube uh, as well, because we put, we're putting all these videos there now. We were before, but we're still doing that. And if you're subscribed on YouTube, you'll just get notified. So you don't have to you know, necessarily show up to every single one. It's very convenient. Right. Easy peasy. Uh, and uh, what I'll do is I'll explain sort of the format. So today we're going to um, go through a bunch of accessories that I think are cool. Not biased at all. No, useful. Uh, and um, that you might want to use when you're like obviously shooting eye guides. <laughs> Would be useful. Yeah, I mean, kind eye of. Shoot, maybe, sort yeah. of. They're, it's, they're semi related. Um, and just uh, full disclosure, um, we will probably provide links to some of these things, but I don't get paid for any of this. There's no. Oh, yes. No affiliates, no kickbacks. <laughs> no. Right, right. But mostly yes. because I forgot to set it up. So that's why. <laughs> Maybe next Oops, time. Yeah, Maybe uh, by the time we have the links, we'll have like a, this will be a part code. One and we'll do part yeah. two and I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. links in the description. <laughs> Use my promo code. All right. I so got Chris. We're going to do, I'll probably, you know, maybe 30 minutes. We'll, I'll just go through some, my like top 10. Uh, uh, and then if there's any questions, I'll answer. Um, so uh, to start, I just want to say um, that my, my most important accessory oh, when oh, I'm shooting, oh. the thing that I like to just always have in I'm my in bag, okay, mm, is, my, is my lightsaber. With the sound effects. Because it's May the 4th, okay? May the 4th be with you. <laughs> That's and, right. and it's good for stuff. Like if you need a light, it provides a light. Um, opening doors. Um, Pointing at things. Yep. Yeah, uh, freeing rebel insurgents out. from uh, Empire uh, Imperial prisons. And the so list goes useful. on. So that's that's the first thing I thought I'd bring up. <laughs> I hope, you, I hope turn you guys it off. That. <laughs> but seriously, Criti critical, guys, critical. Make sure you oh. write that down. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite accessories. Okay, seriously, man. Okay, and it's my it's my vertical grip on my camera. Here's your hand. Take it off. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. Hey. It's this thing. There you Impressive. Go. Yeah, they look different depending on the camera that you, you choose. This is an older one with the sort of like contact um, instead of the sort of weird pokey uppy thing that goes into the battery compartment. But I'm going to tell you the two funny reasons why I like this. Um, and this is a very expensive accessory um, for the reasons that I'm about to tell you. But for me, it's worth it. <laughs> okay, so it's two things. So one, it's really cool. Um, when I'm using the camera and I'm doing video, I often have it mounted on something, you know, tripod or whatever, gimbal or something. And I find it really irritating to get to the battery from underneath. So this has a slide out drawer for the battery and it's way easier to change batteries for me. And I'm lazy. Um, you technically can double up. You can put one in the camera body and one in the grip and then you can have twice the battery, but I don't do that. I just put one in the grip. Um, so it's just convenient. I just like it for that reason. Um, so that's reason one. Reason two is the fluffier reason. So cameras with grips um, look cool. Oh <laughs> well, they that's do. They just look cool. When I was young, like SLRs, um, like having a grip was weird. It was a really strange thing. So people who had grips were like, oh, you know, fancy photographers, like paparazzi and like news and event Ooh. photographers and stuff. So um, fancy. So in my head, this is like, if you're going to be like a pro, you need one of these. 
Um, so I'm slightly, so, this uh, so it's image based. Purchasing something that makes you look professional. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. There's a few other things like that on this list too. I can be honest. Yeah. Ease and convenience and professionalism. <laughs> Looking fancy. Yeah. Top so, of the list. Number one. All right. It's not, in, it's not in order of priority. It's just, uh, that's the first thing I thought I'd start with. Uh, vertical grip. I like them. And occasionally I will use it for its intended purpose, which is to shoot in, in portrait. But um, for the most part, I just use it because it's easy to get the battery in it. All right. What else? You okay. Number us? two. Well, let me get my list up. Nope. There we go. Um, yeah. I have one here. Uh, it's... It's really simple. This um, one is actually critical. This is the only one I could find just <clears throat> because I, I didn't have my camera bag, but it's just a little level. Don't you? Do. baby level. Do. Um, so spirit levels are really cool. Um, if you're a real estate photographer, you already know this um, because you'll have been forced to learn it. But having a really level camera really um, gives you consistent results with your images um, when you're shooting because it allows you to, to, to you know, align all your vertical lines so they're straight up and down. Yes. And I mean, they're cheap. This is like a dollar. Um, they make fancier ones. Uh, I often have them like integrated into my tripods um, yes. as well. Um, and I have a few extra of these in my bag, like at all times. And they're just like always handy, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so the, the, the humble spirit level. Um, this one goes in a like a hot shoe. Uh, but you can get ones that are like weird cubes and um, that allow you to level uh, from the side, which is quite handy if you have your camera up uh, really high, so, and you can't look down. Like this one's clearly intended to or like on top if you're of really the camera, short. so you look down. Like high. <laughs> yes. You or can't. if you're short. <laughs> it's true. I wouldn't need it's it on the side. <laughs> okay, level. All right, we're cruising through this list. Okay, the mm -hmm. next one. Some of these sound boring now that I'm saying it out loud. Flashlight. Okay. You so, know what? Some of the most important things in life seem boring, they're not but they cool. make they're life just, better. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Well said. So there's a trick, though. I really like angled flashlights. Why, Chris? Why? Because you can do cool stuff like this. And then it just, here, I'll even turn it on and blind you all. Check this out. And then it just, like, it's hands-free. It's super cool. I can't count how many times I've been in some weird rando basement, and I can't see where the light switches are. I don't know where anything is. And I, I just yes, I have to pull my flashlight out and do this whole, you know, hunting thing. I mean, if I didn't have it, I would be very frustrated. Also, sometimes you'll have um, spaces that just don't have uh, a lot of light. Yeah, so light sources. Um, yeah. this can be used when you're actually shooting an eye guide to illuminate the room a little bit. If you've got nothing, it'll, it'll save you some time. It is better than nothing, for sure. So flashlight. But the, the trick <clears throat> is the angle, you know, so that you can stick it on stuff. Pretty neat. Huh. Good tip. No. And that one has an eye guide logo on yeah, it. Yeah, this was brand new. Look at that. So even specialer. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next one, um, I didn't, I couldn't find one, uh, but they are very cool. Uh, so I will share a photo with you guys by sharing my screen. Uh, so I hope you guys can kind of see this. These are not great examples, but um, we used to have a lot of these. I'm sure we have them somewhere in the office. But they're a silicone phone holder you keep around your neck. What they allow you to do is they allow you to shoot, you know, with your your phone and then yep. just kind of let go of it and it'll just hang. Like you can kind of see this this little this little man here in this little box. Like a necklace. Yeah, it's like a phone necklace. And that uh, means you don't have to put your phone in your pocket or accidentally put it on a table. Um, I'm very absent-minded and uh, I tend to put my phone down places uh, and then completely forget where I put it and wander around looking for it. And then I have Same. to ask people, like, hey, can you call me? Can you call me? And it's just like... It's a hot mess. So and then my phone is on <laughs> silent, so it doesn't right, matter yeah. if you call me. I turned the ringer off because I was in meetings or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, maybe it. I need one of those just for life. <laughs> that's, that's right, just not, for every day. Not for shooting, <laughs> just for life. Um, uh, are there levels made to fit on the planets? It has no flat surfaces. Okay, question. There you go. So, great question. Um, Sort of yes and no. So if you put the cap on the Planex, the top is very flat and you can place a level on top of it and you can level it just, just to get a, a, a quick level right off the bat. Um, I do that all the time because I've got an extra little bubble levels in my bag. Um, but if you need to level throughout the shoot, the easiest way with the Planex is to get a tripod um, like ball head with the clamp with the level built in. And then yes. it's just always there. And yeah. then I probably have one I can show you. Where should I pass you 
This one? Oh, that was easy. Check this out. Look, it's like I planned it. Oh, but this one has one too. There's a tripod. Look at this. So there's one. Built right in. Yeah. Easy. There's one over here too. That's super convenient. So the the built-in level will like so the way the Planix works is it has these little alcove things. And so the level will just stick out of one of them if you have the QR plate on in just such a way. Um so yes, so that's what I would recommend. Okay, move it on. What else you got? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, again, I didn't have one, unfortunately. But the next thing I really enjoy having in my bag, and it's funny, I say always in my bag, and I don't have one today, uh -huh. embarrassingly. Liar. <laughs> it's an extra battery. You know those little oh, battery packs? Yes. These things are freaking great. Like you're out and you're shooting with your phone, right? And you're kind of reliant on the your smart device the battery, so much right? for so many things yeah so you get one that fits like about the same profile as your phone and yeah. then you just some of them even come with this you get an elastic band or two or a silicone band and you just strap it on you could just use it all day um again i'm a big nerd so i actually for a couple projects had like a utility belt with like a big pouch <laughs> and i think it looked cool and i had a battery in it <laughs> and a cable that came out and it attached to the phone it worked. I shot for like eight hours with it. We're There's going... no pictures of me using it. So yeah, I've never seen one of those. I'll just you'll just have to trust me that it was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> like a fanny pack. <laughs> uh yeah. Okay. Um okay, the next one. How much time we got? Oh yeah, we're cooking. We need to slow down a little bit. We're having too much fun. Um the next one is gonna be tripods. So that was the obvious one. I knew everybody wanted me to start there. Yeah. I'm going to give you my take on tripods. Okay. How many do you need? You can never have enough tripods. Uh, seriously? Is I that a know, real probably. thing? I have like eight, so yes. Okay, well, that's so serious. Uh, do you want another one? You know, the, the tripod that you choose is more about what suits you and your workflow. So there's no one perfect, <laughs> one perfect tripod. Um, you don't have to buy a fancy, expensive tripod. But you can if you want. Um, but I'll give you a couple of examples of features that I really like that I don't think I could live without now. And it's actually good that we have these two. So oh, great. the first one. Uh, this is a quick release plate. And it is a an Arca Swiss style. It just means it's got little bevels. And you slap it in there and you tighten it. Easy. This one is a Manfrotto rc2 very common you like kind of snap it in actually i can mm -hmm. show you it's on the bottom here so it's one of these so once once you start using the arca swiss ones these ones it's really hard to go back to the the snappy ones with the rc2 because they have this big lever and it sucks and it interferes with the planets it's a big pain in the butt um so i vastly prefer these now and i've actually converted a couple tripods the manfrotto ones over to this and it's so much better <laughs> <laughs> which is annoying because I have like a zillion of this RC2 plates, but it's they're just easier to use. It's nice. You can take them on and off so much faster. It's just better. Um, but uh, what I like to do is I like to have one tripod for everything. So some people, I know I only have like eight of them, but I only use one at any given time. And when I'm shooting, I'll switch. I'll use uh, the Planix and then I'll take it off the same tripod and put my, my stills camera on. And then I'll shoot with that. So one tripod and then multiple cameras uh, to, to cut down on the weight. So that means the same QR plate has to be on all of them, but then they're compatible um, with the one tripod. Smart. Makes sense. Yeah. You're just collecting them then. I, yes. Okay. Kind of. Just for fun. Okay. I do love them. So. Oh, um, do you need this stuff? Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Hold it up. So the other thing uh, is a ball head. Now, a lot of people swear by... Um, you know, like something like a Manfrotto geared head, like a 410 Junior or whatever. And that's totally cool if that's your jam. But I find those are too big and bulky and weird, and I don't like them. So I, I prefer a ball head. I prefer a chonky ball head. But the special thing that I really like on a ball head is, is uh, this. It is the um, – actually, it's not that. It's this one. It's a resistance knob. So it doesn't uh, um, lock it or anything. What it does is it um, – this one locked rotation, but that one – changes the resistance that you feel when you Ooh. move the ball head. So that means that instead of it being really loose like or that. really tight, it, you can set it to exactly how you want it. And mm. I'm kind of persnickety and I really, I really like that. So that's one of the reasons why I still use that tripod because that tripod is really old. 
but the ball head's good and it's made of metal. That's another thing I like about tripods. I prefer a heavier tripod. I, we're going to talk about tripods for a while. <laughs> this is going really to be like 30 tripods, minutes yeah. on just tripods. So I should have just started with tripods. Um, I like a heavier tripod. Some people like a lighter tripod. So this I've had some, hefty. that one's all metal. Like it's not meant to be easy to carry, which is the benefit be of standard. getting a it's lighter tripod. It's supposed to be tripod. stable, sturdy. I was standing out front of a house, actually it was in Waterloo, doing twilights. And I watched my tripod in the wind do this with my camera on top of it. And I watched the whole thing just <gasps> crash. So I like a heavier tripod because um, I don't like to see that happen. I'm very paranoid about my stuff getting trashed. Um, but you know, the, the, the weight of your tripod is completely up to you and what you're comfortable with. The only thing that matters, you know, really is it's carrying capacity. So yeah. you want it to be high enough for your, whatever gear you're using. The Planix is quite light. Um, it so it's usually not an issue, but um, you know, something in the sort of 15 pound capacity and up is kind of my comfort zone. Although that is quite low and, and usually quite small. The only exception to that would be something like a travel tripod. So, this is an example of a travel tripod. Um, these ones compact and they're very cool. So I'll, I'll put up with a lot of um, nonsense for compactness because this will fit right in your carry-on. And it's really, really tiny. And you can put it on a bag really easy. That one doesn't get any smaller. It's just humongous. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's the downside. So last thing with regards to tripods, okay? And this is just, this is just, my personal preference i don't like twist legs <laughs> because i feel like i look foolish when i set wow. it up on site it's an image thing again there's a few things on this list like that but i like the snap legs and those require more maintenance sometimes like the this wow. tripod comes with a little tool so you can adjust the snap legs when they get loose uh, and some of the cheaper yeah. ones like this one don't um, but I, I don't like the twist legs. I, they're fine. They work great. We've had lots of tripods. I have a few here that have twist legs. I don't really like them. I prefer the snap. -ups. Again, personal preference. It's just me. That's what feels hardcore. Yeah. I like a sturdy tripod. Um, I vastly prefer it. Uh, what time we got? Oh, 17 minutes. Tons of time. Okay. So uh, the next thing um, is this this is one of my favorite accessories so it's a camera cage Ooh. i don't know if you guys can see that that's very cool. well that's the thing i'm gonna be honest i don't need this <laughs> i don't need you it know, at sometimes all sometimes it's about what we want just yeah. not what we need what's it for but man this well so it's basically what it does is it gives you all these mounting points all over it so you can oh. i have a thing i'm going to show you you can attach stuff to it like lights and stuff i don't really oh. use any of that stuff but um with one exception which I will show you guys because it's the next accessory I think is super cool. Uh, but camera cages are neat. They kind of provide you with like all these extra possibilities for how you can, you know, set that up your camera. Cool. They're mostly like video related. You don't really need uh, those for stills, but um, I don't know, pretty cool. And they don't cost very much. So they're kind of, and they look awesome. They do. Like, look, cool. look how cool this is. It's very cinema, you know. C cinematic. Cinema. Okay, that leads us right into our next thing. And it's, it's this thing right here. Okay, so I got this on the internet. Oh, man. <laughs> this is like the new age infomercial. It's okay. 12 o'clock. And it's a, it it's a grip. It's a grip for the camera. So I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, you put it on the camera like this, and then it gives you a handhold. Right? So you're like, you if you know what this is, you're already like, yeah, of course. But if you don't, this is what it's for. It's so that you can get a really good stable handhold on your camera and you can shoot more stable video or, or like, you know, get weird angles you wouldn't normally be able to get or whatever. Um, so I love this thing. It's very, very handy because I don't have a fancy uh, gimbal for this camera, like an expensive um, stabilizer. Gotcha. And I don't need one because this has in-body stabilization. Pretty cool. And I have this extra grip and it gives me a pretty stable platform for doing stuff. I don't really, I mean, I want to have a gimbal, obviously, but, <laughs> but I don't need to buy one because I have this cool grip for now. Anyway. Until you, you know, need slash want. But let's, I'm just going to show you why it's this grip. That's cool. Okay. So Tell remember us. I mentioned before that a lot of this is like image. Uh -huh. like this looks really cool. It's made of like wood and it like clips on. So I have another one that I bought first. It does look cool. 
smaller. And I, I use it for something different, but it's like made of metal and I, you can clip it on like wavy. this. It's wavy. Oh, yeah. but it feels good in the hand too. Doesn't it? I feel like we're on an infomercial. <laughs> we should have put we should have put links in. Links. I feel um, like I'm your assistant. <laughs> well, the, you're selling that. So that and the camera cage are made by a company called Small Rig, and they feels make a good. lot of like pretty affordable cinema stuff. I don't know who made this thing, but this does pretty much the same thing. It's just not as much fun. I was expecting cool. it to not weigh as much as it does. You weigh a lot. Well, like I don't. It's more than what I expected. I don't know if it's a lot. It feels like, feel like I'm holding eh, something, you know? It's kind of cool, but that's like super cool. I was very impressed with myself when I bought that. Yeah, I'm impressed with you. Definitely looking professional. Okay, moving on. What else you got? This is like a rapid fire accessories here. I'm saving the best for last, by the way, in case uh, anyone was curious. So don't go anywhere. Extra grip. Oh, yeah. The next, I don't have it with me because I said, right, I'll go get it. No, I can't. We're in the middle of a webinar. I can go get it. Where is that? It's a GoPro. It's sitting on the. Sitting on the where? On the, um, that Kitchen? whatever the cabinet thing above the board games with the splatter paintings. Above the board games with the splatter. Oh yeah, but near the near the back door. Do you know what I mean? So, the next accessory is a GoPro. Um, I know it's weird because it's a whole other camera, but man, they are just they're useful. They're just handy to have. I've used them for all sorts of weird stuff. You need a little bit of like random b-roll footage in some strange place or you want to do a really quick walkthrough video or you want time lapse actually those are pretty cool you can set it up and like it's a gopro who cares and like forget about it um i've got like an old one uh as well um uh and um so i don't really care about you know losing it or yeah, yeah there we go i should probably turn it off actually oh my gosh it got me running <laughs> it did yeah that's right so yeah gopro that's it I just keep one in my bag because they're tiny and I don't know. For what? Just for filming stuff? Well, so occasionally you just need a camera that um, is really, really wide angle. And these things are stupid. They're like, they have an obscene, like, there's a distortion involved, but they have a really wide huh. angle. And yeah, there's no focusing for these. It's just so like fixed cool. focus. So they're just super easy. Footage is good, usually. So you could just use them to capture just weird footage sometimes, which is kind of neat. Candy dandy. Okay, next. All right, next. What's next? iPad. Oh, now we're promoting a brand. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, but here, hear me out. Okay, so as I as I'm getting older, <laughs> mm, I see where it going. is. I see where my phone going. is getting further and further away from my face. So, I used to tell people all the time, like you know, uh, you don't need to have an iPad, and you don't to shoot no. eye guides. You don't. Okay, but man is it nice <laughs> it's awesome it is very heavy actually can you pass me that big goofy thing behind you so i i, I uh no no sorry the big rugged case there oh this so these things are cheap you can get a um uh one of these big rugged cases for yes. your ipad i should have put it recommended in and then you can hold it and they come with like a strap that you can put around your neck or whatever and it it's a little overkill to be honest for like a house but for a larger property like they're awesome um, because there's just so much more screen real estate to start putting your data mm, together and mm, doing alignment and kind of yeah. analyzing it or whatever. It's kind of awesome. So I know I told everybody, sorry, everyone, that you just need a phone, but it's really nice to use an iPad yeah, if you have need one. need versus want. It shouldn't be just, it's not just iPad. It's any tablet. Yeah, yeah, fine. tablet. You don't have to use an iPad. doesn't have to be want. an Apple product. Yeah, I mean, they pay me to tell you that you should get one, but that's okay. It's fine. You wish they did. I do. <laughs> you do it for free. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So the iPad, um, like, it's crazy expensive to have a tablet if you think about it, because you already have your phone, you don't need to have it. But it's a very popular device. Yeah, a lot of people are it is. It. We do tell people that are doing really large properties that it's it could help their lives a lot. Um, I'm going to read a couple questions. Yeah, yeah. Comments, uh, questions. So, uh, Jared, I use a gearhead for photos and a ballhead for iGun. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, gearheads are awesome. So, yep. Um, totally cool. Uh, and then Mark wrote, I just pinched my finger on a snap leak today and bled in a customer's house. Not fun. Okay. So there's some risks, but risk thing makes things fun, right? Nobody said photography was risk. -free. That's right. If it was easy, Your everyone job would do is it. not easy. That's why Probably? they pay you to do it. Exactly. Okay. Six minutes left. We're going to get to our final 
success. The final countdown. So the last one. It gets a full, a full unboxing. Ooh. Okay, so we were aware of this thing. It's uh, so smaller than I thought it was. I know, it does, but it's impressive for the size. Yeah. Um, so we were aware of this thing for a long time, and uh, um, we, you know, we knew we wanted to get one, but they're not easy to get in Canada. We kind of had to jump through some hoops, but finally we were like, okay, we're gonna do it. And so I bought it. And man, this thing is cool. Sometimes you, your hopes are really high, your expectations, and you're like, okay, don't get your hopes up. Just be oh, cool. No. But okay. then you're not cool, you know? No, but anyway, no. it showed up, and my expectations were exceeded, wow. and so I'm happy. Anyway. So what this thing is, is a light. And some of you have probably seen this before. Um, this one's got an extra doodad stuck to it because I was messing around. But um, this is a 360-degree light so what it does is light up in 360 degrees <laughs> so let's suppose that you are uh running your camera you've got a quarter inch uh you know male thread here and then a quarter inch on the bottom female so it goes in line between your tripod and your planex and mm. you can turn it on you know with different color temperatures or the camera's gonna auto correct oh, for that or what yeah. but um, and different you brightnesses. Whoa. Whoa. Right. Oh, well, that was cool. Um, so what this does is this gives you the ability to add seamless light around your planet, more or less. Um, as opposed to a flashlight. Yeah, as opposed to holding a flashlight, which means it's just going to be in kind of one location, you know. So it's still useful. The flash is still useful. So at first I thought, all right, this is pretty special. You probably don't need this unless you're like in a building that has no light. Do you remember when we shot that yep. like school or whatever? Yep. And there was the there's no power. So everything was dark. And the camera just takes longer to shoot when it's dark. This would have been very handy. Yep. And so I thought, oh, I probably need it for that. But no, it's like for everything. When you are in a normal house, you just have areas that are like super dark. Um, like closets and stuff. But there's no lights. And sometimes you think to yourself, wow, can like anybody even see in here? Now they can. Yeah, it's super easy. You just turn it on. <laughs> now they can. Now they can. <laughs> Are you sick of dark closets? Do you need a solution? <laughs> Halo. <laughs> so this thing uh, is super simple. It's got a battery in it. You charge it up. It has, weirdly oh. enough, it has pass-through power. Um, so it has a full-size USB port that you can run out to something else. Um well, the reason it has that is that this was originally intended for like a 360 camera, like a Theta Z1 or whatever, just on ah, its own gotcha. um, so that you could provide light. But then one of the big downsides of having a Z1 is that the battery life on it's not very good. So um, this would then sort of compensate for that. If you have a Planix, you don't care because it has a battery anyway. But this thing's super cool. You can just use it every shoot. So I, I kind of thought, so my point was that I kind of thought it was a very specialty purpose kind of thing and that you might only use it for certain shoots. Heck no. Surprise. Put it on. Use it every shoot. It's awesome. It's like that red hot. Remember the hot sauce commercial? Put that on everything. That's right. Put on everything. And then just for fun, I have this like weird fluid rotator that has a, uh, an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom that just happens to match the diameter. So I put it on the bottom for extra cool. I don't need it at all. Just, just to be clear, extra. it just looks cool. So what's that like? Um, five out of five, five out of ten things on the list are just because they look cool. I mean, but they still have a function. Yeah, you still use them. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, that's it. We rounded out. Round okay. up. We're all done. Uh, unless you guys have any questions, I will provide links to some of this stuff um, if I can. Um, camera cages and whatnot, so you guys can go and look for yourselves. Um, reminder again: please subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel. Um, please go join the Facebook group and, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah. Masterclass in two weeks. Rob Johnston will be joining us again. He'll oh, that's true. Yeah. We're doing a masterclass. Very special class. Um, yes. in two weeks for something very Don't special. Please, out. please come to that. Yes. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.